my song generating app, I built in Dev Mountain 16 week bootcamp as the midpoint project. The project was built using JavaScript, DOM, HTML, SCSS, and it utilizes the Spotify API. Let's dive in. The user can generate a song of their momentary desire based on seven filters. Click and drag an input's thumb to set the value of that filter. The chart in the top right of the screen also tracks the values. Users can opt to change the value based on uh, sliding on the, on the chart as well. To set the genre, you can select from over uh, 100 genres. If the user doesn't want a filter included in the algorithm that generates their song, they can toggle the filter off using this switch, which under the hood is just a checkbox. The slider turns gray, the thumb no longer moves, it's static. While the filter is disabled, the chart is also given the instruction to be disabled and static. So as you can see here, as I'm clicking and dragging, the meter cannot be adjusted. So let's do a demonstration. Let's choose a genre. Let's say we want to listen to some uh, jazz music. We want something fairly danceable. And uh, do we want something that's more chill or more high energy? Let's go for something chill. Are we looking for something more melancholy or more euphoric and positive vibe? Let's go for a medium, happy, positive vibe. The acousticness filter determines whether the instrumentation is acoustic or electronic. Let's say we don't really care either way, so we toggle it off. And whether the song has vocals or not, let's say we can either we can also go either way. So we'll turn that filter off as well. And for the popularity, let's search for something that's more highly played. Navigate to the new song button, and the song generated based on our exquisite taste was Body and Soul by Coleman Hawkins. You can see that the album name also displays, as well as the album cover. Here's a link that if we click it would open a new tab and, and open Spotify to, if we wanted to listen to the whole song. The audio controller is loaded up with the song, and so we can hit the hit the play button. I'm gonna pause my other music. Hit the play button. And here we go. We've got the pause and play button here. Uh, we've got something tracking the time of the of the track. We can skip forward and behind here, and we can adjust the, the volume as well. Thank you for joining me today to check out my music generator app. To see the code, visit my GitHub. And thank you so much to, to my Dev Mountain mentors for supporting me in making this application.